Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and there's a really loud truck over there. Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today... <laughs> yeah, there's another loud car and then I started thinking about it and I forgot what I was talking about. Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom. <laughs> Alright, today's gonna go great, I can feel it. Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today on Tips and Techniques, we're gonna know... <laughs> I got it this time. Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today on Tips and Techniques, we're gonna make ketchup. So ketchup, it's America's favorite condiment, beloved by young and old. Uh, it's the basis for so many barbecue sauces. We see it all over in our culture uh, and I'm sure around the world. Now most of the time we're content to just grab a bottle off the shelf and use it in, in whatever capacity we like. But today we're gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna make our ketchup from scratch. And not just one ketchup, but two. So we're gonna do kind of a classic style ketchup with some canned tomatoes, a little twist on it, uh, just to make it something a little bit special. But then we're also gonna do a second one that's a fire roasted habanero ketchup turning up the heat with that one. We're gonna fire off fresh tomatoes on the grill. So let's start by getting the grill lit up. And today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers adjustable flat top charcoal grill. We're gonna fire up a chimney of lump charcoal and let that get going. We just need one chimney to get us going. We just put down a little fire starter, get our chimney right on top, all loaded up with the lump. Now we're gonna start off with the classic ketchup. So we're starting off with one can of Italian peeled tomatoes. Some good quality tomatoes. And that's one of the great things about making your own ketchup is now you have control of the ingredients that are going into the ketchup. So that's a 28 ounce can of the tomatoes. We're gonna add to that two cups of distilled white vinegar. We got one half cup of sugar. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of our Jacobson's kosher sea salt. And then for our aromatics, just a couple cloves of garlic. Want to get those crushed, the skins off of them. And then we'll let the blender do the work on mincing them up. We've also got a quarter of a small yellow onion. Just gonna get the skin off of that. And just give that a quick dice chop, slice. All right, and then onto the blender. So we are just gonna totally blitz this down. All right, so once we've got that, yeah, totally knocked down. We're just gonna pour that right into our enameled Dutch oven here. And this is gonna go on the grill to reduce down to about two cups, and that's kind of my indicator. Uh, when I reach two cups quantity-wise, and I look at that, the thickness, the viscosity of it, that's when I know that it's done. Now there's one little secret ingredient that I like to add to this ketchup to make it stand out so it's not just a boring ketchup. And that's when I put some pickling spice in with it. Now this is the exact same pickling spice that I use for making my pastrami. So it's got a lot of great flavors in it. You can see some juniper, some allspice, some bay leaves, mustard seeds. There's a bunch of them. I'll give you the full list in the recipe. But we don't want any of those just floating around in our ketchup, so we're gonna bundle it up in some cheesecloth. Tie it with a little kitchen twine. And we'll just plop that right there into the ketchup. And as it cooks down, all of the essence from these spices and herbs in here are just gonna leach out into the ketchup. All right, so back to the grill now. Chimney's ready to dump. Kind of gonna keep this all in one quadrant here. This is where we're going to be firing off our tomatoes and then we'll go ahead and throw the Dutch ovens with the ketchup sauces in them right on top. Slide this over now. Throw that one in the back. And then right up front here, we're gonna add our two pounds of fresh tomatoes. And I just wanna blister these. I mean, I want them blackened on the outside. So I'm gonna pop these coals up to the highest setting.
All right, we're gonna roll these around. Try not to lose any. That's kind of what I'm talking about. I want it blackened. We want to taste the grill, taste the fire. All right, all these tomatoes are looking pretty good now. I'm gonna pull these off. All right, so tomatoes are gonna go right into the blender. Might just smash these up a little bit just to make them easier to process. Like I really need to doubt the Vitamix. And then we're gonna add the exact same ingredients we did to the classic. So two cups of distilled white vinegar, half cup of sugar, and a tablespoon kosher salt. And then for our spiciness and aromatics. So we're gonna do three habaneros in this ketchup. I'm just gonna pop these stems off. And just give them kind of a rough chop here. Slice them up. We've also got onion once again. and our garlic. So habaneros in. Put our onions and our garlic. So you can already see this one's gonna be different in appearance. All those flecks of char from the grill, it's gonna be darker overall. So once again, we're gonna go into enamel Dutch oven and put together our little sachet of spices, that pickling spice. One tablespoon. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the grill. So we're already simmering away back there on our classic. Let's take a look at it. Look at that, bright red, beautiful color. And like I said, this one is gonna be a bit deeper and darker in color because of its time on the grill. But for now, all we need to do is just let these simmer away. Well, we've got the reduction we're looking for on our ketchup sauces here, so bring it on in here, we're gonna take a look. So you can see how this is just really thickened up. No real standing moisture underneath. And that color, a lot darker than our classic ketchup, which pretty much looks like classic ketchup. So let's go ahead and get these off the grill and cooling down so we can taste them. Coming up just a little under two cups. So we got that reduction we we're looking for. All right, there we have it. Our fire roasted habanero ketchup and our classic ketchup. Let's just let them cool off before we taste them. Well, our ketchups have cooled down, so let's give them a taste. Well, I figured French fries was the perfect thing to test our ketchup with. It tastes like ketchup, but better. This is made from real ingredients. But really, it's that pickling spice that sets things off. It's got these warming spices in it. You may not think they'd be great in ketchup, but it really gives it some interest, some, some character. Let's try the spicy one. 
Now this one you can see has even more texture to it because of those habaneros and really the fresh tomatoes. They just add more to the texture. Oh yeah. So it's got that smokiness from the grill. It's got that heat that just kind of starts to coat. It's gonna creep a little bit. Not gonna hit you hard, but there's a really nice heat to it. And of course, habaneros have such a great fruity flavor to them anyway, it really adds a lot to the ketchup. These aren't gonna look exactly like the ketchup that you buy off the shelf. And that's a good thing. You know, they're not made with a bunch of corn syrups. They don't shine quite the same. Um, they're not made with just a tomato puree, so they've got some texture to them. But these are all things I really enjoy. So if this is something you wanna experiment with just for fun, it's a great thing to do. It's a great way to enhance whatever you're eating. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.